I know some of you nattering nabobs of negativism, as Spiro Agnew used to say, are going to be saying, wait, it's Thursday, it's not Monday. But I wasn't here on Thursday, or I wasn't here on Monday, or I was, wasn't here on Tuesday or Wednesday. So it's the first day. And that usually generates hate right there, the fact that you weren't here for those days. That's right. Um, I want to start with a message that Jesse Kelly posted on his Twitter, and he captioned this, I do this for the fans. And then here's the screenshot. Jesse Kelly, you are the biggest bleep bleep I've ever heard, full of nothing but right-wing conservative BS. And I thought Howie Carr was bad. You got him beat for sure. Well, at least I get a good laugh while driving in my car, and that is the only reason I would listen to your crap, except sometimes you make me sick. Now, here are the responses. Well, that's I'm, I'm very proud of that. I want to save all these. I want to save that and the responses, Grace. Well, here are some of the responses. George Smith says, my God, you're even worse than Howie Carr, whoever the hell that is. I didn't come here to be made sport of. Now, this person says... You know who I am? Exactly. Exactly. Why do I have to quote John Kerry when I'm being insulted? Jason writes, never heard of Howie Carr, but hell of an endorsement this guy just gave. (laughs) And Exactly. Brian writes, wow, this guy called you worse than Howie Carr. Jeez, I know your ego was big after that compliment. I'm scared to see how much bigger it will get. (laughs) So I enjoyed that. It's nice seeing a a fellow conservative give you a shout out in their hate mail. Jesse Kelly had had me on the show when we uh, had just put out the Dirty Rats podcast. He loved, he had me on a couple of times. He loved it so much, the Dirty Rats podcast. Remember we said that Anderson Cooper, when he went to Jeopardy, he brought bad ratings with him, like they were contagious? Your hate is contagious. You're bringing your hate to all different shows. I'm I'm proud of those. That's good. Yes, That's very good indeed. Let me give those give those all to me so I can. We also have keep we them. we have a lot of voicemails to get to. Tons of voicemails today. So let's do um, before we get to some of the Herald comments. This is one of our Herald, not our one of our Herald fans. He's a Globe fan. This is cut three. Hey, how is something new? I go to a lot of supermarkets and a lot of stores during the week. It's hide the herald. Mm. What I do is, when you, I don't care if you got one paper or 200 papers, I cover it with the globe. Mm. Jesus, that, that's going to help your circulation, won't it? I know people who... I, I didn't know we sold in the liquor stores. I, I mean, I guess in New Hampshire, where they got beer and wine, we sell we sell the paper up there. But I didn't think we sold them in any package stores down here in Massachusetts. I know people who do this at bookstores with like certain books. Yeah, like the Andrew Cuomo book, or you know, if Barack Obama has a book out, they'll flip it the other way or move it. Seems like a lot of work to me. Yeah, and if you really if you're going into a store to buy a newspaper, you'll look underneath too. That's that's my experience as a newspaper buyer. Exactly. Um, and also, let's play cut two, please. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Mr. Carr. For the 100th time, you've called Hunter Biden Hunter Thompson, and you pick on senile Biden? My God. I mean, if that's the name to mistake him with, that's the name to mistake him with. Right. I mean, Hunter Thompson had a severe drug problem. He was an alcoholic, and he was tortured by hallucinations of uh, large birds while he was in the desert in in Nevada driving to Vegas. I mean, how many... He's he's kind of a a sole brother, a doppelganger of Hunter Biden's. Yeah. No, I I would agree. Um, Howie, by the way, so... I I had my Herald column this weekend, and it was titled, Joe Biden Insulting Americans with Low-Quality Lies. And I called Howie because there was a response on here, and it said, why does the Herald employ Curly? She can't write a decent sentence. But sentence was spelled incorrectly, so I called Howie to tell him this. But then today, when I went to print it out, strange thing, sentence was spelled correctly again. S-E-N-T-E-N-C-E. But luckily for for Grace, I screenshotted the original one. So, Vig, Viggy Vigalum, why does a Herald employ Curly? She can't write a decent sentence. I still have your original sentence spelled wrong. He got really ridiculed for it on the post, and then he must have deleted it. Viggy is his name? Viggy. That makes me happy. <laughs> um, 
Is he a, is he a loan shark? People. It's, what's the vig, Viggy? Oh, and then, and this is this is another good one. Grace Curley, U.S. House, twenty twenty two, and Freer Hugo Knott, who we know very well, wrote, "Why don't you just come out with it and ask for Putin to run for president in twenty twenty four?" So I guess I'm on the same level as Putin. How much how much money did the mayor of Moscow's wife give to uh, Eric Trump or uh, or Donald Trump Jr.? I dare say it was much less than three the three point five million that the mayor's wife gave to you know who Hunter <laughs> Thompson Hunter Thompson Biden <laughs> yes um, how you wrote Joe Biden would have founding fathers rethinking independence New News writes. Howie is a spoiled guy who lives in Wellesley. Must be nice. It's nice. But you know what? I, I think now that I've been in Harwich for a while, in the summertime, <laughs> I told I'll you. Take, in the summer, I'll take Harwich for it. I told you. Speaking of beautiful people, let's play cut four, please, Taylor. Hey, Grace, what are you doing Saturday? Oh, I don't know. I think I'll just uh, fly over to Nantucket, um, probably have some caviar, and, uh, and then fly back uh, that evening on the Southern Airlines uh, in first class, of course. I did fly <laughs> Southern Airlines, and I, I specifically it's, said I felt like John Kerry. It was very, it was a beautiful experience. Everyone the, the should only be guy, able to the feel only like guy. That's the only way to fly. <laughs> That's the only way to fly. Go back there and make us some old fashions. Or as the guy with Hunter Thompson used to say, get get your ass back there and make us some triple gen bucks. Hold the bucks. Hate Mail Monday is brought to you by Pantadozzi Baking Company, we- celebrating over 100 years of baking excellence since 1916. Incidentally, we only have one of the... Well, stop kidding, will you? Make us some drinks. I mean, just press the button back there, Mark. Booze. And I just want to say for the record, a day trip is actually cheaper than spending the night in Nantucket. <laughs> Much cheaper. Yeah. So that that explains that. Um, also, Taylor got a little bit of hate in this week's hate mail. Cut one, please, Taylor. Um, Howie, uh, I can't believe you let Tucker Taylor guest host, or, or as we call him, Fall River Frank. He spent an hour lecturing us on why we need to keep the fireworks ban, all because his neighbors in Fall River are irresponsible. Fall River sucks, and so does Fall River Frank. I I didn't I listened to that last hour because that was going to be my hour, and I, I I don't think you really were that down on fireworks, were you? No, I'm I'm still on the fence of whether they should be legal or illegal, but uh, eh, leave it up to the people, I guess. Yeah, when you- everything's illegal in Massachusetts. Yeah, unless you're an illegal alien. In which case, it's not illegal to be illegal in Massachusetts, as Marsha Coakley once so famously said, the former attorney general. Howie, you are a salesman at heart, and some people have a problem with that. Cut six. You know, I didn't listen for a couple of days, but I can see right back to the uh, Howie Cobb pimp show. You know, you got nothing on it, Clinton. When are you going to sell your underwear? He took a, Clinton, in case you've forgotten, took a, a $3 tax write-off on his used underwear and his mildewed shower curtains back in the day. Do you draw the line there? I've never taken it. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> hey, Grace, I've told you. I've Put been up getting your right audited. hand. I've been getting audited for 40 years. I know I know better than to try to take a, uh, a deduction. I'm, I'm, and I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a pablum puking liberal Democrat like uh, like the Clintons or the Bidens. I can't get away with that stuff. On used underwear. Used underwear, yes. He took a th- $3 per pair of his boxers or briefs. Yikes. Um, all right, and last but not least, this is cut five. When you change your voice and scream into that microphone, you sound like such a <laughs> It's just like you. Blimey. What got into you, bloke? Don't give me any grief, mate. I don't need nothing from you, governor. All right, guys. We'll be at Cape Gunworks tomorrow. I'll be there right at 12 for my show. And Howie will be there um, for his show as well. We'll be there until 6 o'clock. So make sure you stop by. It's always a really fun time. And I can't wait to see you. We'll be taking pictures. And Howie will be signing books. It's going to be a blast. 
If you wake up in the morning feeling not so great, then you need Balance 7. Balance 7 has helped me with all my aches and discomfort. I've been using Balance 7 for months now, and I wish I'd learned about it years ago. Balance 7 is a clear mineral liquid that you take three times a day to break down the acids in your body. Often I'm asked to try products and can be very skeptical of the claims, but with Balance 7, everything I was told turned out to be true. If you've been holding off, don't wait any longer. The mailroom manager loves it for energy. My daughter Charlotte takes it before bed to help her sleep. When I take Balance 7, I don't feel my energy fading as the day wears on. I have a jug at the studio and a jug at home, and now I have a jug uh, down in Harwichport for the summer. Balance 7 reduces the acids that build up in your body over time. All you do is drink a small shot of the liquid three times a day, and you will feel the difference within 24 hours. If you suffer from heartburn, acid reflux, or joint discomfort like I do, then give Balance 7 a try. Go to balance7.com and put in code word Howie for free shipping. That's balance7.com, code word Howie. I'm Howie Carr. Be a part of the show. Call 844-500-4242. And uh, mind your manners. People lose teeth talking like that. If you want to hang around, you'll be polite. The Howie Carr Show will return in a moment. 